If you stay, I'll unveil the most powerful guide to smart money concepts on YouTube. A treasure trove of market wisdom that few dare to reveal. Let's begin with the enigmatic order flow. The heartbeat of the market. Imagine it as the grand orchestra of external swing points, those critical junctures where the market turns, where the price bends to the will of unseen forces. To decode these moments, you must step back and survey the battlefield from a higher vantage point. Choose a broader time frame and there, mark the towering peaks and valleys, the external structure points that hold the secrets of the market's path. Witness the dance of price. If it descends into a series of lower highs and lower lows, the order flow is bearish, an ominous sign that the market titans are pushing prices into the abyss. But when price ascends, carving out higher highs and higher lows, the order flow turns bullish. Here the giants of finance are quietly gathering strength, driving the market upwards in a surge of silent power. These titans, these shadowy figures, do not act on whim. Their movements are calculated, their goals hidden from the ordinary eye. This is the essence of order flow. By understanding the external swing points, you grasp the direction in which these giants steer the market. Align yourself with their course, don't fight the tide or predict its turn. Instead, ride the monumental waves they create and let their force carry you to fortune. To master order flow, you must learn to see through many eyes, across multiple time frames. Each time frame is a lens, revealing different facets of the market soul. The higher time frames offer a sweeping vista, the grand strategy. The lower the time frames, the minute details, the tactical maneuvers. What is an external swing point in one frame might be an internal structure point in another, a clue to the larger narrative at play. Imagine this, you begin with the 4-hour chart, scanning the horizon for the grand trends. The pattern reveals itself, lower highs and lower lows. The order flow is bearish. Then, you descend into the 15-minute chart seeking the perfect moment to strike. Here in the microcosm of the lower time frame, you find the internal swings, the subtle shifts that build the larger trend. By comparing these movements, you understand the intricate dance of the market, aligning your moves with the grand design. Now, let's delve into the notion of trend, the lifeblood of market direction. Trend is the current, the flow of price over time. To uncover it, you must focus on the internal swing points of a lower time frame, those smaller ebbs and flows that ripple through the broader trend. In a bullish trend, the market forges higher highs and higher lows, each new peak surpassing the last, driven by powerful impulsive movements. Corrections are brief, opportunities for the bold to enter and ride the surge. But in a bearish trend, the tide turns. Lower highs and lower lows dominate with sharp declines followed by fleeting corrections, perfect moments for the cunning to sell and profit from the descent. Fractal alignment is where order flow and trend converge, creating a pattern within a pattern, a fractal within the market's design. Order flow reveals the overarching direction, the grand sweep of external swing points. Trend is the finer detail, the internal swings that dance within this greater flow. Like pieces of a puzzle, the internal direction feeds into the external, shaping the market's destiny. To truly understand this relationship, you must master the art of multi-time frame analysis. Picture this, the daily chart's order flow is bearish, a descent into lower lows, but on the 1-hour chart, a surprising shift, higher highs and higher lows, a trend seemingly at odds with the grander order flow. This divergence hints at a temporary pullback, a momentary gathering of strength before the market resumes its downward march. Only when trend and order flow align, 
when the pattern to cross time frames converge, does the market reveal its true intentions? Now, behold the break of structure, a harbinger of continuation. On the price chart, as the market surges past a previous swing high, closing above it, a new structure is born, a break of structure to the upside. The old order shatters and the new path is forged. In a downtrend, a break of structure to the downside occurs when price plunges below a swing low, signaling that sellers have seized control, pushing the market into deeper waters. But watch closely for the change of character, the moment when the tide turns. In a market long dominated by a downtrend, price suddenly breaks above a key swing high. This is no mere fluctuation. It's a change of character, a seismic shift as buyers wrest control from the sellers. The market trembles on the brink of a new trend. If higher highs and higher lows continue to form, the reversal is confirmed. The dawn of a bullish trend is upon us. The premium and discount zones are the gravitational forces of the market, the invisible hands that guide price. When you measure the swing between a high and a low, you reveal the premium and discount zones. Above the 50% mark lies the premium zone, a region of peril where price is pulled back down by market gravity. Below the 50% mark, the discount zone beckons, a fertile ground where price is likely to reverse and climb higher. But beware, these zones are not standalone strategies. They are pieces of a larger puzzle. By combining them with other smart money concepts, you can begin to see the market's true form and make your move when the moment is right. Seek out the discount zone for buying opportunities and the premium zone for selling. Align your strategy with the market's natural rhythm. Buy and demand zones are the hidden battlegrounds where the smart money makes its moves. When these market giants want to place a massive order, they don't throw it into the fray. Instead, they divide it, placing smaller orders at strategic levels, the supply and demand zones. A demand zone forms where the market rallies after a series of down candles, the last refuge before price surges upwards. When price returns to this zone, it often bounces as the big players step in to defend their positions. Conversely, a supply zone forms where the market drops after a series of up candles, the final outpost before the descent. When the price revisits this zone, it often stalls or reverses as the giants unload their positions. Mitigation plays a key role here. A zone that has been touched and reacted to is a mitigated zone, its power diminished. But an unmitigated zone, untouched and full of potential, is like a beacon, drawing price back to it. Fair value gaps reveal the market's imbalances. The inefficiencies left behind by strong buying or selling pressure. In these gaps, the market fails to overlap, leaving a void that price often returns to fill. These gaps are like echoes, remnants of past battles that the market seeks to address before continuing its journey. Finally, we confront liquidity and inducement, the lifeblood of market manipulation. Liquidity is the capital flowing through the market created by orders placed by traders. The smart money hunts this liquidity, creating inducements, traps designed to lure traders into their web. They build liquidity pools, areas filled with orders, and then, with a swift move, they strike, taking the money of unsuspecting traders and driving the market in their chosen direction. Liquidity is found at swing highs and lows where past reversals leave a trail of orders. It gathers at equal highs and lows where price has tested and retested a level. 
and at trend lines and chart patterns where traders place their bets hoping for a breakout. The smart money knows these areas well and they use them to their advantage clearing the board of opposition before making their move. And there you have it, the ultimate guide to smart money concepts laid bare. If this knowledge has sparked your curiosity, you won't want to miss the next revelations. Stay tuned for the journey into the heart of the market has only just begun.